Hi, this is Rafael Cabrera, leader of the pack with Casita Big Dog Rescue, sponsored by ValuePetSupplies.com. Welcome back to Casita Big Dog Rescue. Here is Wiley, who is now Jimbo. Uh, we saw him in our last uh, previous shows. He you saw him at the Grand Prix that we had, the MS Grand Prix. That was we had him about approximately about uh, a month at that point. Um, he's progressed quite a bit. He still needs a lot of work. Here it is a month and a half later. Uh, was now slightly and slowly coming along when uh, production manager Steve uh, came on, on the set today. He was a little standoffish with him. Although he knows Steve, he still didn't uh, truly warm up to him yet. So we had him go through some exercises about taking some food, tossing it in front of him, and then walking away. Now the, the reason for that is, rather than someone holding the food in their hand and having him come to them, he feels that he's always expected to do something, that somebody's gonna to wanna to pet him. So by taking the food and just tossing it on the ground and standing up and walking away, he has a better understanding of the humans and how they can be trusted without expecting anything in return. So that's one of the exercises that we're practicing with him. Uh, it was really good to see when Steve came how he, his reaction was. We had him out of the kennels purposely and he, he was a little standoffish. So this is a guy that was trapped uh, they, they, like I told you in previous shows, they, uh, they, tried, they tried catching him, you know, without a trap and everything, and he was very elusive. So finally they did wind up trapping him. So he's really lost his um, faith in mankind pretty much. But he's doing great. He's doing really, really well. He's getting along really great with uh, our little girl Mika. Hope we're going to put them in the yard in a little while and you can see them playing and everything. Uh, he turned out to be one of the greatest dogs we've had. Uh, this is a guy, you know, it's going to have to be the right person, again, like we did with Nina, one of our other previous adoptees. Um, trust is going to be the biggest key with this guy. Um, a lot of dogs that do wind up at the shelter, they're there because of behavior issues and uh, that people have just let them go. So trust is going to be the number one thing. It took, it took me a while to earn his trust. It took me about three days for him to fully trust us and uh, my partner Bill also over here, you can see the big dog rescue. He, um, he, he follows us around and he trusts us completely. So once we gained that trust factor, everything changed. So this is where Jimbo is at right now. We're still working on him. Uh, we do take him out and about, out in public and everything. He is doing really, really well. So continue to watch. We're gonna see, we're gonna put him in the play yard in a little while and have him play with Mika so you can see the, how far he has progressed. When we first got him, he didn't even want to interact with most of the dogs here. But right now, he's built a great rapport with her. She's really, really good, Mika. She's uh, helped us with numerous dogs, so uh, she's a valued asset here. Okay, here we are in our play yards over here. You can see the big dog rescue. And as you can see, these two have become best friends. Mika is uh, one of our greatest helpers here. Come here, Mama. When we first got Mika, she was the same thing. Very timid, she wouldn't go to anyone. Uh, we took her to adopt her out. I wound up taking her for myself because she was so timid. Now she's my baby girl. I love her to death. And you'd have to take her out of my dead hands because um, you'd have to pry her loose from me because I love her so much. And she's become really an asset to uh, all the dogs that we bring here because she gets along with everyone. Mika doesn't have a, um, a dominant bone in her body. And um, she's really helped the progression of a lot of the dogs that we brought here. And again, the majority of the dogs we do bring here are from the shelter. They all are from the shelter. And, um, you know, she, she, she's just a, she's a great watch. She's a great, uh, a great asset. And we love her to death. So that's our Mika right now. And we're going to see how she plays with Mr. Jimbo. So this is them playing. This is how Mika helps with the, what, what, when we bring dogs in here. This is what she does. She gets them, um, she gets them relaxed. She gets them more comfortable. They start trusting each other. There's nothing better to help a dog than another dog. Um, Lug actually helped Mika become a better dog because he's very confident. As you can see, Big Lug's out his back to us over there. He's being a little indifferent today, but um, Mika really has helped Jimbo a lot. She's um, she's taught him. Giving him confidence, taught him that to, you know to play. Because when we first got Jimbo, he wouldn't even play. He wouldn't play with any toys. He wouldn't play with any humans. He wouldn't fetch. He wouldn't do anything. And Mika does not either. But between them, they play wonderfully together. They normally don't play with the with humans that well, you know. So it's uh, this is one of the, the syndromes I've noticed with uh, 
with dogs that are shy. You know, they seem to do well with each other, and I mean, they love each other. Come on, you ready? You ready? Okay, he wants to. He's, so he's learning now that to get her, to get her interest, he picks up a toy, and this is what they do: the fa the famous tug of war. Oh, this is. So this is the progression of Jimbo. It's been it's been good. We're really happy that he's uh, coming to his own, as we say. It's still going to take a while. It's going to take a lot of uh, a lot of attention, a lot of love. You know, he needs structure, but he's a great guy. So continue to watch, see how my Jimbo does. And uh, Jimbo is an Anatolian Shepherd mix. He was designed as a guard dog, a guard, excuse me, as a guard dog, um, protect sheep from the Anatolian mountains. Um, basically, he's got the same temperament as a great Pyrenees. So, um, this dog is another dog that's not for everyone. He does need structure. Trust is a big, big factor. So, if you need to find any more information out about Jimbo over here, you can contact me at Ralph at CasitaBigDogRescue.com and I'll be more than happy to um, get back with you. You can email me your phone number if you'd like and I can call you directly and uh, we can set up an appointment. You can see Jimbo. We can meet you anywhere. So continue to watch, and let's see if Jimbo finds a great home. Thank you. This is what the people at the shelter the detect, and they come across every single day. This is without fail, one of the worst, worst emaciated dogs I've seen. This is Rafael Cabrera with Casita Big Dog Rescue, and this is my rescued American Bulldog, Big Lug. Thanks to our sponsor, ValuePetSupplies.com, Lug and I are able to save dogs at our shelter. Every purchase you make at ValuePetSupplies.com helps in saving these beautiful dogs from being destroyed. Follow us on Casita Big Dog Rescue YouTube channel. Buy from our sponsor, ValuePetSupplies.com, and you could be part of saving these majestic animals. Save a life, adopt a rescued pet. Right, Big Lug? <coughs> Hi, I'm Rafael Cabrera, leader of the pack with Casita Big Dog Rescue. If you have a problem, I have a simple solution. Now the weather's gonna be getting cooler, you're not gonna to wanna to take your dog out as much. This is a product that can help with that. Remember, Simple Solutions, 100% more absorbent, holds 10 times more liquid than standard economy pads, neutralizes odors, quick drying, embossed quilt pattern, traps urine and directs moisture down. This is an absorbent puppy pad that you can have your dog relieve itself inside the house, dries quickly, wonderful, wonderful tool to help. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, this can come in very handy for some quick cleanup jobs. If you're going to be staining a product or anything like that in your house, this is something that can help with the cleanup. If you have cats, this is a great tool for a kitty litter box. This is the largest size. They come in various sizes. You can go to our website at ValuePetSupplies.com and see some of the great products that they have there. Remember to spay and neuter, and every time you shop with ValuePetSupplies.com, a portion of that goes to help me save another majestic creature from our shelter. The solution is simple. Simple solutions. Thank you. Welcome back to Casita Big Dog Rescue. Here we are at a local shelter, uh, downtown Inverness, uh, off of Airport Road. This is Citrus County Animal Shelter. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna take a look at some of the dogs, maybe have a chance to see some of the people and get uh, a chance to speak with them. So follow me inside and um, have your best face on. Thank you. Okay, here's, uh, this is one of the situations we, they run across here at the shelter on a regular basis. This dog was dropped off at the overnight drop-offs that they have available here at Citrus County Animal Services. We want you to take a look. This is, a, this is an American pit bull mix. Um, I want you to see the condition of this dog. This poor thing, she's a evidently very sweet dog, and the people that have allowed her to be in this condition. This is what we call emaciated. You can see every rib on this dog's body. You can see every vertebrae on her back. If I turn her sideways to you here, you can see better. Look, you can see her hip bones. Just the top view of this. This is appalling. This is a shame. This is what people allow to happen to some, what they call their pets. It's a shame that people allow something like this, a dog, to so severely be neglected. Um, she has some sores on her leg. Um, does have, that seems to be infected. Um, a little swelling. 
You know, I'm not a vet, but evidently all that's not good. This is what the people at the shelter, the, the techs, and they come across every single day. This is without fail one of the worst, worst emaciated dogs I've seen here. It's going to take a while for this dog to gain weight. It doesn't take them long to get in this condition, but to gain the weight back does take a long period of time. And it's a shame, real shame, that they've allowed this dog to disintegrate to this condition. Um, because of her breed and because this dog is so sweet, even though mankind has let her down, she hasn't given up. She's allowed me to pet. I've never met this dog before. It's the first time I put eyes on this dog. And um, it's a shame. The chances of this dog getting out of here, very slim, unfortunately. They can't tell you that here at the shelter, but I can. Um, and not because of her condition, but because of her breed. Uh, again, what I was talking about, breed-specific legislation. Uh, bullies are condemned just for what they are. The staff is going to have to um, see if she's ill. If she's ill, they're going to get her back to a, a good shape, a good, good health again. Uh, have her gain some weight. They'll work on her, some of her behaviors. And then, in fact, if no one ever adopts her, you know, she'll be lost. This is just one of the nice, nice people down here, I guess, is looking for a dog today. Are you down here? My grandsons, and they really liked her, even though, you know, she was thin. Oh, they had seen her? She appeared to like children. I see. And they're two boys, and they'd like to have a dog. Okay. How old are the young boys? Um, eight and nine. Eight and nine years. That's a perfect age. I mean... Uh, being that she's a bully doesn't make her a, it makes her a great dog those dogs yeah. were specifically designed for children mm -hmm. you know again this is going back to part of our other shows that we'll be airing about bullies uh, this is a dog that truly needs to be saved and she will be she's beautiful she, she is a beautiful mm -hmm. dog so I want to I want to thank you for coming down mm -hmm. to the shelter and, and considering a dog like that you know hopefully that when she comes around that um, we can oh, put we you will together. Be back, Cause she's special. <laughs> All right, and you're special for being here and considering her. Thank you so thank much you. for everything. Thank you. This is another dog that just got dropped off. We believe she was probably just surrendered. I don't know anything about her. Um, our partner Bill over at Casita Big Dog Rescue just put her in touch with her, and um, she seems to be a lab mix. Seems like a very sweet dog. She's got a nice personality. Let's see, she's about, she's young. Teeth are nice and white. If you look at those choppers, this is how we determine the age of a dog. I check the points of their teeth and the tartar buildup on the back of their teeth. She's, and she's cooperating real well. So looking at her, she's probably only about a year old, a year and a half tops. Um, this is a beautiful dog. Bill just pointed her out to us. And um, we're all looking for a new candidate to take back to the show, back to Casita Big Dog Rescue. So, this young lady actually fits the motif of the type of dogs we look for. You know, we do take some of the hard nut cases like um, uh, Wiley, which is now Jimbo, but we also like to take dogs that are fairly easy to adopt out because that way we can save more lives. The more quickly we can take this dog out of here and I can place her in a home, that gives me a chance to take out another dog. Bill and I could both work with them, get them acclimated, um, get them, give them doggy etiquette, and then find them a forever home. So Bill's got a good eye. He picks out some really good dogs. And uh, I really like this one here. I'm glad he showed her to me. I like her. She's got a really nice coloring. She almost, um, she's got some spots on her. She almost looks like she might have a little bit of Catahoula in there somewhere because she's got some light and dark spots in different places. So she might be lab Catahoula mix. She probably has about four or five different breeds in there. But, um, this is a beautiful, beautiful dog. This is a dog that would make another great pet. Um, and, and again, if anyone wants any information about any of the dogs at the shelter, you can come down here directly. Or you can contact me again at Ralph at CasitaBigDogRescue.com. Um, I will help anyone come down to the shelter. shelter. I'll pick out, uh, help you pick out a dog. I'll assess it for you to make sure it's good with children. Uh, make sure that's going to fit properly into your home. I'll ask you a lot of questions about your lifestyle. And of course, that's at no charge. I offer my services absolutely free. Um, I've placed approximately about three or 400 dogs since I've been doing this. And uh, thank goodness I haven't had any dogs returned yet. So it's, um, it, it's really important that you know what you're getting yourself into. It's just like buying a car. You're not just going to go out and buy the first car that, that you look at because it's good looking. 
It's the same thing with an animal, you know? You need to know a little bit about the breed, do a little research, find out what it's about, find out what this dog was specifically designed for. This is a working breed, but because she is a mixed breed, that makes a really, really good dog because they're less prone to illness. They are, um, they more, for some reason, they seem to learn more quickly. She's very calm, you know? For the first time, her meeting us, she's doing great. And she does, she say, I stopped petting her, and she responded right away. She came back for more. This is a dog, even though, even though humans have uh, let her down, she's determined never to let another person down again. So look at that, huh? This is a wonderful dog. This is a dog that truly needs to be saved. Another one. I say that all the time, but they all do. I keep repeating myself, but look at, it's worth it. Look at that face. Right, Mama? So we're going to see what we can do to get her out of here. Hopefully you'll be seeing us, seeing her on our show, uh, unless we can get her adopted beforehand. So again, spay and neuter. Let's cut, that, let's cut down on some of the Soviet population, and we're going to take a look at some of the other dogs here at the shelter. Thank you. Valuable Bully Sticks. This is one of the fine products you can find on ValuePetSupplies.com. As you can see, Wolf loves them. Healthy, natural dog chew treats made of free-range beef, chemical-free, healthy, safe, great for teeth and gums. Valuable Bully Sticks. They do come in different shapes and size. Order as much as you want or as little as you want. It's one of the fine products you can find on ValuePetSupplies.com. Go to our sponsor. Help them help us. Thank you very much. Valuable Bully Sticks. This is Rafael Cabrera with Casita Big Dog Rescue, and this is my rescued American Bulldog, Big Lug. Thanks to our sponsor, ValuePetSupplies.com, Lug and I are able to save dogs at our shelter. Every purchase you make at ValuePetSupplies.com helps in saving these beautiful dogs from being destroyed. Follow us on Casita Big Dog Rescue YouTube channel. Buy from our sponsor, ValuePetSupplies.com, and you could be part of saving these majestic animals. Save a life, adopt a rescued pet. Right, Big Lug? One of the areas we forget about here at, at Citrus County Animal Services when we come down uh, is the cattery, all the cats and everything. You know, we have an abundance of cats. They need to get these cats placed in homes. A lot of these cats are wonderful, wonderful. Some of them uh, have been surrendered again, same situation, people moving, can't take care of them, they wind up over here. And also we have some of the volunteers that are just, we, we can't thank them enough for doing what they do. They come in, they pay, they, pay, they spend time with these cats, they make them more appealing for people, they get them used to being hands-on. So this is one of the volunteers right now. What is your name? I'm sorry. My name's Leslie. Okay, Leslie, and this is uh, one of the cats. This, this is Kevin. He's a sweetie. He's just a little laid-back little man. So handsome. Yeah. We got this little guy. Steve wants to go down here. He was he was pouring at my leg before, and he's just uh, he's a handsome little devil. That's Cagney. And Cagney and Cagney's available as well. Yeah, Cagney is available. She's a little girl, and then her little sister in here is Lacey. Oh, I and see, Lacey, Cagney, and Lacey. Very nice. So these are some of the you know these are some of the animals that you can find here at the shelter. These cats all need great home. Again, they all come microchipped, spayed, and neutered. Yep. Um, you know, and and any information that you want, the volunteers or the people up front or some of the techs will be more than happy to give to you. Absolutely. So these guys need to be saved too, not only dogs, we don't, you know, we specifically work with dogs with Casita Big Dog Rescue, but there's cats here that need homes as well. And this is not the only animals. They have horses here, and a ton of times they have reptiles. I know up front they have a bunch of rodents up there right now, a hamster, a couple of gerbils. Every, every once in a while they get birds in. So you want to save a life, you want to make a difference, Come to the shelter first, and then check out your pet stores, or go to your, your breeders and everything, but these guys need homes. These guys desperately need homes. You say adopt, don't shop. Adopt, adopt, don't shop. Words to live by. Very good. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for what you do here. Appreciate it very much. No problem. Say hey, thanks. Kevin, say thanks. This is another volunteer. This young man comes in and gives up his time. He's here almost every day that I come down here. And what is your name, sir? Bob. Bob. Oh, thank you, Bob. Who do you have with you today? This is Ashton. He's a good little boy. He's got a roommate named Midnight. 
I see. I like see them both get adopted together. How old is this guy about? He's probably about four or five months old. Oh, so you can, you can get kittens here as well as adult cats. You can get every age group possible, I would imagine. Unfortunately, there are too, there's too many of them. And the cats always outnumber the dogs here, so. Um, He's real lovable. And what would, do you know the cost to adopt one of these cats? Are there any specials? Five dollars, that pays for the license. That's it, five dollars to adopt them. Right now, five dollars to come down to Citrus County Animal Services, located off of Airport Road, right behind the fairgrounds, right behind the airport. Five dollars to adopt a cat. I mean, five dollars for a lifetime of love. How can you beat that? You can have a little guy like this sitting in your lap, just like Bob's over here with this little guy. Make sure that they know that the cats, are, the five dollars covers the first shots, being neutered or spayed, I mean, it can't beat it. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Sure. So that includes everything. That's all their shots. That's the license, the microchip, like Bob said. That's everything. So at $5. I mean, come on. You can come down and get a, get a bunch of them. If you got a big house, why not? Keep your house free of rodents and snakes. It's a good thing. So save a life. Adopt a cat. Okay, we're going into our special needs department down here at the shelter. Uh, with us, this is Joe Bundy. She was on the uh, front page of Citrus Conical a couple of weeks ago. This woman does it all over here. She is a valued asset. You're going to come in and you're going to see what actually happens here at the shelter with Joe. So come on in, follow me. I'm going to cover him. Okay. So, Joe just got back from the Christmas parade they had downtown Inverness. And she's on a time limit here, so she's getting all these dogs out for the... Much of a time limit. I just kind of... I spend as much time as I need to until I can feel comfortable leaving. I, yeah, so basically she's here all day is what she's trying to say. So, so what, what, hap what is this area about down here? Uh, it's originally, it was, originally it was special needs for dogs that either have skin problems or um, maybe uh, just problems that needed to be under medication or a special food or something like that. Or given feed maybe more than two times a day. It evolved into more than just that because it also evolved into when we've got major overflow. I see. Like in the inner core where the animal control officers come through to put dogs, instead of them putting up crates and then there's no room to walk, if they're small and they're not going to work in the lowers or the uppers, you know, like a chihuahua or something, yes. they'll come in here. So that's the overflow part. Okay. And then every so often, I'll get a, a volunteer of that that says they have a dog that uh, needs to have an extra meal, real skinny in that, which I just got a call today, and if I had room, and I do have a corner kennel, which is the last resort. I, this particular kennel I just don't like because it's dark, it's hard to get into sometimes, but yes. when you don't have anything else. It's better than nothing. And there's only so many crates you can put in here. This is that dog that was completely neglected, and the owners, again, should be very much ashamed of yourselves. Um, that's no reflection of Citrus County Animal Service. That's strictly me. If you have anything to say about me, commenting about how you treated your dog, you can contact me at Ralph at CasitaBigDogRescue.com. And believe me, I will give you an earful. So we want to make sure that this dog gets properly treated. So Joe just walked in, like I said, from the parade. I walked and I caught her fixing a, 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 one of the crates over here that many of the dogs go in. She has all the dogs outside. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, maybe 20, 25 dogs down here. And Joe's down here taking care of See? every single one of them. Okay, I gotta control myself sometimes. This, I, I will go out and buy if I see dogs aren't eating the dry food, and I've heard, a, I've been doing research and everything on the raw food diet and everything, and, and that, and I'm slowly adding a little bit. So I go out and I purchase my own stuff. Yes. And unfortunately, I had somebody come in here, grab a can, and feed all of it to that dog. Should not have been fed raw that quickly. No, you got probably going to get sick. Get, that's, yeah, so it's very important what Joe's saying right now. The person's intentions were well met, Absolutely. but it would be more detrimental right now yeah. to the welfare and the health of that dog. Joe hit it right in the head. When a dog does come in in that condition, you do not want to feed it a lot of food very quickly because it will get sick. You know, that's why these dogs are down here with Joe. She's been doing this for a while. She's just no fly by night. She knows exactly what's happening over here. But this is part of, this is some of the problems that they incur 
And we are at the, at the animal shelter on a daily basis, you know. Uh, the volunteers give up their time. Uh, we can't thank them enough for it. This is the environment they're in all day, every day. Um, if you want to follow me out to the little play area that Joe has, we're going we're to show you some of the dogs that she uh, contends with on a, re on a regular basis. We're going to look right out the window over here. And this is, uh, this is her menagerie. We got some wonderful dogs here. We got a Pembroke Corgi. We got a little white bully mix. We got another. These are all dogs that are, all need great homes. So these are some of the puppies that, um, that all need homes. Look at these guys, they're all beautiful. A lot of these dogs came in completely emaciated in some kind of uh, disarray in one form or the other. And these are all great dogs, you know? We love them all. Look at them all. They all want, they just want affection and love. So we want to thank everyone for following us today, Citrus County Animal Services. We want to thank all the volunteers for everything they do and, and they continue to do. Um, you know, I don't know how else to say it, but thank you for watching the show. Thank you for saving the lives of the people that have. I want to thank all the people that have adopted from us in the past. Uh, continue to watch us, so support valuepetsupplies.com so they can better help me help these guys. Remember, spay and neuter, save a life, make a difference. Thank you.